I think my mount's looking a, bit, a little bit lonely and uh, check out that blue sky so yeah I'm gonna get some imaging done tonight and I'd like to invite you all to uh, tag along with me if you like what you see don't forget to hit like subscribe and the bell Luna you gonna help me set up Check out that sky. And I've got one puppy who wants to play. That's going to make setting up a little bit awkward. <laughs> Cables aren't too messy, it's just because they're tucked in, but the mount and equipment is ready to go. It's already polar aligned, um, it's already balanced, it's just cooling down, everything's plugged in. I just need to do some focusing and stuff later. I've got like my auto filter drawer with the L Pro Max in, if I could get into it. So that means I think I might go for some galaxies. I have no idea what galaxy to go for. Um, I might go for Max Chain because I'm feeling the need for a lot of galaxies. So I might go and have a look at the book, which is like the 100 best astrophotography targets and it gives you like different dates. Um, that's if Luna ever stops asking to play ball, just like she's doing now, again and again. Okay. So yeah, let's go and have a look at the book. Okay, so like um, I've got this book for when I'm struggling for inspiration. Um, I've got a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna shoot tonight. I'm gonna shoot Macarian's chain, but I just thought we'd have a look at what it suggests for this evening. So it's April the 18th, and the closest one to that is, oh, it's not, it's the 19th apparently. Um, Moons is just waving frantically at me, lol. Um, so yeah, so a, uh, Galaxy Pair, M95, M96. I'm not really fancying that one. Um, I think it might be an absolute nightmare with my equipment. So, um, Al Nebula, M97 and M108, not really feeling that one either. Oh, Galaxy Trio in Leo. I already did that the other day. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with my initial thing, which I said, Macarian's chain which is actually meant for May the 13th, but you know what, let's be a little bit rebellious and uh, do this instead. How cool is that? Venus, shiny nice and bright. <laughs> Sending my autofocus crazy. But yeah, it's uh, starting to get dark now, so I've just come out to see if I can get focused up ready. Okay, cool. See um, an image already. I'm using a, a baton of mask to really hone in on focus. in 
focus already. I didn't touch my scope from the other day when I was using it and I've just left it as is. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Call it beginner's luck because this is my first video of this kind. So yeah, um, ordinarily I'd, I'd just focus using a baton of mask, making sure that that's looking pretty good. Or I'd use my Pegasus Focus Cube, which is not attached to this scope. So if I'm going to continue using this scope, I'm going to have to switch it over. It's also pretty windy tonight, so I'm not sure how this imaging session is going to go. But yeah, let's uh, give it a go anyway. Okay, so I've logged into the mini PC via VNC. And I'm going to start up Astro Photography Tool which is like my imaging software of choice. I actually updated it today um, to 3.84 and I've updated the plate solver to ASTAP because I've heard a load of good things about it. So I'm gonna try that tonight and see how we go. At the moment, the security lights are on in my garden so we can actually see some stuff, but when we um, get to imaging, obviously I'll switch them off. So gain set, I'm going to put the cooler to minus 10. And of course I've left the Batonov mask on, so I'm going to take that off. I'm actually using pulse guiding. I don't use the ST4 connection. Um, people have asked me before which one was better. I think they're rough, roughly the same. Some people say pulse guiding is better, but to be honest, I've not really noticed much of a difference. It's um, it's just for me, it's just one less cable to have hanging off the mount. So I'm going to go to gear objects. the Oys Galaxies, which is M M86. The battery in my head torch actually went and I need to get some new ones, so M86. So right now, supposedly, I'm, I'm pointing at Max Chain, but um, I've not done a star alignment, so that's probably not the case. So I'm just going to take a quick um, focusing and framing image, which won't save. Um, I'm just going to change that to, to one. So you want one image. And go. This is just so I can plate solve and hopefully get smack bang on target. It's pretty cold out here, not as cold as normal. Um, and this is the first video of this kind that I've been that I've attempted doing, and mainly it's because I get nervous. Um, but a few people have asked for it, so I thought, hey, um, why the heck not? So hopefully. If this goes well, I might do some more. Just waiting for the image to come through now. Um, as I'm working over Wi-Fi and I'm in the garden, it takes a little bit longer. But hopefully, it shouldn't take too long then we can get into plate solving. Okay, so I've got my image of where the telescope is pointing. It's quite faint because it was only like a 10 second image. And I'm going to go to gear and point craft. And I'm going to try blind solving. Um, because I want to know how good ASTAP usually actually is. 
Um, usually blind solving takes me a couple of minutes, sometimes even three. Oh my gosh, that was like, um, <laughs> well that was pretty quick. So, and now I know where I'm pointing, I'm going to click objects. And I'm going to click OK. Well, I'm going to find M86. Click OK. And then I'm going to click Go To Plus Plus. Do you want to sync the scope position with the solved image? Yes. The scope's just repositioning now. All repositioned, currently taking an image of where it's pointing now. Okay, so apparently I'm all centered, and I'm just going to start up PhD2 and hopefully connect everything up. Okay, for some reason, it always throws up that error. I'm a looping. I'm going to select a star. And let's start guiding and see what my numbers are like because it's really, really windy out here tonight. So this could be an absolute disaster. Let's hope not, eh? start my subs rolling and I'm gonna go for 180 second subs as many as I can of them Guiding, it's, it's, it's okay, it's not like great, well, it's not horrendous, um, I've got the graph set pretty small, I've got some pretty gusty wind out here as well, so I'm not too worried, as long as my stars are around, I'm not going to get hung up on the guiding, so yeah, subs are rolling, and um, I'm going to head inside and catch up when I've finished capturing some subs. Okay, so crazy moment just happened. As soon as I stopped like the last portion of the video, I looked up and there were like hundreds of Starlink satellites going across the sky. I had a phone call from my sister saying, what the hell is up there? Um, and just, I just so happened, because I'm shooting Max Chain, I just so happened to um, catch a few. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see that. A few going through a few of my subs. I, will, I include those single image uh, files in the final video, but I was just like, whoa. It was an incredible sight. Like, I'm not going to deny how amazing it was to see, but it is literally ruining the sky. Um, Shout out to Astro Photography, Razine. I showed him the image and he said I should keep it in the stack, one of the stacks, just to see how well the Kappa Sigma clipping actually works. Um, yeah, so I'll give that a go, but it won't be included in the final stack because, wow, that that's just so many satellites going through an image like in one go. So, um, other than that, it looks like guiding's going well, um, and I'll catch up when we're done. Quick update, I finished imaging, um, the mini PC crashed at the end which was not ideal but as I've got work tomorrow I was going to pack up anyway and I've got 40, 
180 second subs which if I stack 100% and not bin that um, Starlink sub let me just show it you then that means I've just got two hours worth of data and if I bin this and get rid of it then it's just under two hours worth of data on Macarian's chain so I'm gonna just load them into Astro Pixel processor I've not got any darks or flats at the moment I'll, I might shoot some later but I just want to see what I've got initially